how to use phrase.io, how to increase your SEO traffic using phrase.io. So hello everyone. So in today's video, I will show you guys on how to use phrase.io. So without further ado, let us begin. So the first thing that we need to do is to create an account. So to create an account, what you want to do is just click on get started for free right here. And then it will ask you to register. So you can register using your email address, your full name and password, or you can just sign up with your Google account. So I will just sign up with my Google account. And then after that, phrase.io will ask you a couple of questions so that it will customize its interface for you. So for the first question, hi, how would you describe your work environment? So just choose the one that best suits you. For me, I'll just choose that I am self-employed. Click on next. It will ask you how many employees does your company have? I'll choose this one, click on next. How many people could use phrase on your team? So let's say one person, click on next. And then which keyword research tool do you use for content planning? So let's say I don't use any keyword research tools, click on next. And then there you go. So it will ask you to create your first document. So what you wanna do is just enter a search query from here, enter your country and language, and then you can now start creating your document. So I'll just input a search query from here. So I just grabbed a, some, a sample search query. So I just grabbed a sample. So I'll use this one right here. So my search query is simple daily meditation tips for busy professionals to reduce stress and improve focus. And then once you're done entering a search query, input the country and language. And then once you're done, you can now create a document. So just click on create document right here. And then after that, you'll be redirected here. So it says right here, let's process your search results. So what you wanna do now, is just click on start and then it will now start searching on Google. And then there you go. So as you can see, these are the results that phrase.io has given us. What we can do now is to start writing our document. So from here, what you wanna do is just input your, or enter your document title. And then from here, you have different kinds of options that you can choose when you are writing. So you can start off with an empty page, start writing with AI, import content from a URL, or import content from a template. So for me, I'll just start writing with AI. So I'll just input the document title. So my title will be, will be my search query. I'll just input that. And then from there, I'll just start writing with AI. I'll just click on that. And then what you want to do is to input anything that you want related to your document, or you can just click on continue writing because it will just um, read or scan your search query and then it will write a document related to that. So I'll just do that, continue writing. And then there you go. So as you can see, phrase.io has made, has made a document for us by using their AI. And then from here, you can tell phrase.io on what to do next. Or what you can also do is discard it, try again, or close it. So for example, just try it again. And then when I click on try again, so you can see it has made this prompt for me. So I'll just click on enter. And then there you go. So as you can see, um, phrase.io made the document for me. So when I go to the end, of like a sentence or a paragraph on my document, I'll be able to see an arrow right here. So this arrow right here allows me to continue writing on a document. So let's say I want to continue writing in this section right here, this section one. So I'll just click on this arrow right here and then phrase.io will add some details related to the part that you want to extend on. So as you can see, it has added some additional details related to this section right here. You can also add some more details right here to tell phrase.io and what to do next. You can also click on continue writing, discard it, try again, or close it. So yeah, so let's say I want to continue writing. See, and then there you go. So once you're done, just click on done right there and then there you go. So when I highlight some text over here in my document, as you can see, there are a lot of options that will pop up. So we can let AI to edit or rewrite the section, change the text, um, change the style of the text, insert links, change the text alignment, the text color, background color, and to clear formatting. And then once you're done writing your document, let's move on to the tools right here in the right side of phrase.io. So first is we have the SERP. So this is where we get to see um, the results similar to the search query that we entered before. So as you can see over here, we have different kinds of search results that we could use or add in our document. So let's say we want to add this one right here. So how do you meditate on a busy day? So to add this to your document, what you wanna do is just click on this button right here, paste to editor, and then from here, it will now be added to your editor. So if you want to expand this, what you wanna do is just click on either space 
so that you can use the AI or the slash button for more commands. So I'll just click on space right here. And then from here, we can let AI continue writing this area. So I'll just click on that. And then there you go. So as you can see, it has added some details relating to the, to the title we just inputted in this document so as you can see it has now added some some meditation tips on what to do on a busy day you can also edit the stuff right here so you can tell the ai on what to do next discard it try again or close it same also goes with these search results right here for the website so what you can do again is if you want to use this part right here let's say meditation a simple fast way to reduce stress what you can do is just click on paste the editor right here and then it will now be added to your document and then I'll just click on space for the AI. And then let's continue writing with phrase.io is AI. So just do that, continue writing. And then there you go. So as you can see, it has added additional details to our document. So yeah, I'll just click on done right there. What you can also do is, what you can also do is click on the three dots right here. And then what you can do is save it as well to your outline. So I'll just save it to outline right there. And then when I go to outline right here, it will be saved right here in our headline. I mean, in our outline. So in this outline section right here, we can get to view our headings. We can also write an article using AI. We can also paste these editing store header. And then when I click on these three dots right here, we can clear our headings. And then you can also add additional headings right here if you want to. You can also change the heading type if you want. So yeah. And then when I click on the three dots right here on, uh, on this heading, we can change the header options. So we can add this heading above or below we can edit the heading name or change the type or delete the heading so if you want to use the ai article feature right here this is for the paid plan so make sure that if you want to use this you're using the paid plan for phrase.io next is we have optimize right here so this this is where we get to see our score for optimization so as you can see over here we will get to see our topic score which is 41 percent so the so the average score is 38 we also get to see our words, our headers, the links, and images related to our document. And then from here, we can also explore topics related to our document right here. So as you can see, when you use um, a word related to a specific topic, it will show it right here. And then if you want to explore more topics, just click on explore topics right here. And then you will see this and where we can explore more topics related to our document. Moving on as we have links right here. So this is where phrase.io displays links related to our document right here. So let's say I want to use this link right here, myheadspace.com. I'll click on that. And then it will show different kinds of links that you can choose as a source in making your document in phrase.io. So for example, you can click on this link right here and then it will redirect you to the source relating to your document right here. And then what you can also do is paste this link to the editor. So to paste the link to the editor, what you can do is just click on this right here to paste the editor and then it will paste the details relating to your document in the editors as you can see it has added this part right here so yeah those are pretty much the basic tools that you can use in phrase.io moving on i'll be covering this section right here in phrase.io so first is we have this option right here the plus which just allows us to add another tab so let's say i'll just name this tab two and then there you go it has added another tab for us and then when i go to the top right here we have export options right here so we can export this document so we can copy the document link we can also see the document history or export this document as an hd html pdf or text next is we have the share button right here which just allows us to share the link to our document and then there you go moving on i'll be covering this section right here in phrase.io so first is we have documents right here so this is where we get to see um, the documents that we have made in phrase.io and then from here we can also start creating another document we can also filter our documents from here and then when i when i select on a document we can assign it to somebody assign user assign it to a folder update the status or delete document so next is we have this template section right here so we can create custom templates for your custom briefs and streamline your seo writing process so to create a template what you want to do is just click on create new template right here and then what you want to do is just enter a template name so i'll just name it sample create template 
and then there you go. We have now created a template in phrase.io. Next is we have AI tools. So from here, we can get access to the different kinds of AI tools that are available in phrase.io. So from here, they have an article writer, attention, interest, desire, action, call to action, and a lot more. So feel free to experiment with these. And then let's say you've downloaded a tool, you will get to see your tools right here in my tools. You can also filter out tools right here just by clicking on this filter button. So yeah, the next is we have folders right here. So we can create a new folder if you want to. So let's say let's just make a folder. Let's just name it sample folder. And then a folder has been made in phrase.io. So in this folder right here, we can customize or organize our documents. So from here, we can move our documents right here to this folder right here, or we can start by creating a new document. And then for archive, we'll get to see all of our archive documents right here. And then deleted documents will also be stored here for 30 days. And then after the 30 days, your documents will be deleted. So yeah, that is pretty much it on how to use phrase.io.